So, Faviana, the reason kind of we have invited you is we are initiating this uh, award of an outstanding alumni. And uh, very happy to share that you are the first alumni we are recognizing. This has just been instituted. And, you know, very happy to share that you will be the first outstanding alumni. Um, is this kind of a, like honor board that you'll be going on. So, um, first of all, congratulations. And, you know, please uh, share our happiness in kind of sharing this with you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it was great to know that. Thank you. Wonderful. We are, in fact, super proud of you. So I've kind of seen you from the early days. I know we met in the <laughs> office as well. And yeah. we are closely tracking your journey and, you know, how well you're doing. So, so Fabian, I mean, we'll keep this for about 15 minutes. I have a few questions for you. Uh, first sure. of all, I'll be very keen to know what your job role is right now and your journey from since you came, since you graduated from Odin School till now. Uh, what has been the journey like? But if you could kind of tell about your current job right now, that would be great. Yeah, sure. Uh, so currently, um, I'm working at Cotivity. So basically, we are uh, we handle the health insurance claims. Um, mostly, our clients are all from US. So my current job role is as an ML ops engineer, which is machine learning operations. So I mainly deal with the operations part, where where the data scientist creates the models like uh, in any models and they push it uh, to us and we create pipelines to run that models online. And when we run that, we need to monitor them. So the operations part is basically monitoring the existing pipeline, which is in production, which the clients are using, which the scores are coming out. So our job, if we have 15 pipelines, we take care of that. It might run, it depends upon when it is scheduled. So we have scheduled timings. It might run on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, so we keep a note when, what time it runs and we be alert and we see that pipeline runs fine and we get the prediction scores out to the clients. Um, sometimes we get duplicate claims. So a machine learning model, what it does, it identifies which are duplicate claims and it helps the uh, insurance company get, uh, you know, uh, get profit out of it so that the money doesn't go. So sometimes what happens when duplicate com claim comes in before the machine learning model, uh, we, the insurance company pays double to their clients and that's where their, their business was lost. So because of the machine learning models, it is easier for the business to identify which claims are duplicate uh, through, uh, through the data robot and you know send out claims. And that's how machine learning is currently helping out the insurance companies. So that's part of our job. And that's what, that's what is our 24 by seven, we monitor them. If suppose it fails, our job is to rerun the pipeline, see it, it runs fine and everything, the codes are fine. So yeah, currently that's my job. Wonderful. That's a lot of responsibility, huh? Yeah. So good to good to see you grow all the way. So, what has been your journey since you graduated from Odin School till till what you're doing right now? Yeah. Uh, from Odin School, it was uh, as I said, as graduated as a mechanical engineer. So, getting into IT was completely new for me. It was it was just like training me uh, from a very basic. So, I I I learned all the basic skills which is basically needed as like, for example python we use python more in our codes for basic coding and you know so and currently we're using PySpark as well so python helped a lot just knowing the basics because in our company we just use basic python not anything in advance so i guess uh that was very helpful for me uh without taking any help from the seniors and all doing it by myself uh, was pretty much helpful and uh, resolving queries on my own. And uh, the uh, the general uh, background statement like for machine learning, different models, I've learned very, very basics from there. And coming into the company, it helped me like uh, this girl's already trained, she knows the basics. So they need not retrain me again uh, because when they hire students uh, as a fresher, we have to go through particular training. So I need not put, uh, too much efforts on that so i could pick up very quickly so within within two months i could understand their operations and apply my basic knowledge skills from audience school from there till there so that you know it was it was not like i had to work double the efforts but it was quite easy the journey in the company for to get started with now very glad to know that you know we were of some help and you know that uh, that you know the whole program helped you now, within Cotivity, what was your first role and what kind of role changes you got till 
till now you know have you played other roles within portivity uh no i when i joined portivity i was an associate engineer mm. so this year i got promoted to software engineer so uh, and i am still an ml ops engineer itself because i want to continue growing in, as an ml ops engineer itself so i'm seeing the same career path uh, a little bit higher growth in this in this field itself so i'm not planning to uh, change into some other field so because as an ml ops engineer i get to interact with various platforms i get to develop the pipeline from scratch i get to know what the data scientists are working on i get to know what the data engineers are working on so as an ml ops engineer my job is to interact with different people from the same ai ai is very vast and in that ml ops is one part uh, data engineers are ones who does coding most more of coding so i get to interact with them where the data comes in i get to interact with the data scientists where they prepare the models and as an ml ops engineer i i my job is to join all and create one pipeline so all their hard work runs in my pipeline and it sends out to the business so i get to interact with various platforms and that's what i wanted as an ml ops engineer so i, I prefer uh, to be an ml ops engineer and i like this field very well no no wonderful that's so good to see you do what you like you know we believe in continuous learning so we want you also to be a lifelong learner uh, so <laughs> keep learning that now uh, faviana would you have any um, feedback or rather suggestions for the current students so is this something we can pass on any advice you will have for our students um uh, i would say the advice uh, what i have taken like to reach here what i have implemented is basically like sometimes i literally felt like i wanted to give up because it was very hard for me to change from mechanical to it but uh, i currently i'm happy at where i am by because i did put a lot of hard work you know and it's not like uh, even when i was in odin school it's not like what the trainers teach i was just studying that i was practicing that as well and plus i was doing some self study because i feel even self study helps you a lot you know because you can train yourself you you, you get more doubts when you start practicing like from your own you learn something from the trainers as well and you practice that you you create doubts you again go and do some some of your own like self study and then you learn do peer to peer learning i mean uh, from your side and that's how i guess i have uh, gone through it and it's not like only projects what you get it from a uh, particular institute where you're working as you sometimes you learn from your own projects you create your own project you get new ideas so i guess that is also makes you to stand out from the rest of the people so you get your basic trainings you use that to do something more advanced like how do i stand out from the rest of the people maybe there are 60 70 students like how do i stand out from the 60 70 students it's like i put extra hard work i study more something more because i'm very curious to learn something so i guess that's what helped me to uh, be here well wonderful those are wonderful inputs we have in fact have a lot of our alumni talk to our students and this kind of i've noticed fagana keeps coming again and again like almost every successful alumni tells people you know our students to do a lot more on your own in addition to what is being taught in the class practice yeah your- yeah because if, if there are six even in a college you have 60 students you're learning the same subject and at the interview all the students have saying that i've done only these many projects so how do you, how do they select which candidate is best if there's one out of the 60 students who have done completely different projects they'll get very curious to know like what is so special in this project they'll get very excited to know like how is this because if 60 students attend the same interview and they say the same projects now and then they'll anyways get bored and they'll be like this is this is what they've thought there'll be one student will be like i did two extra projects can i explain you on that so they'll be like ha huh, this is something new let me they're very curious to know what this girl or what this guy has studied something new on his own and i guess in the company they try that uh, more why because sometimes you have to go out of your way uh, to you know if there is something failing and if there's nobody there you're the only person you have to take the decision at that moment at that time you cannot rely on anybody so because in the company people come and go and you any anyone can be replaced any time so you need to give your best shot like in whatever you do sometimes it fails 
even sometimes it happens to me in the company that some pipelines don't kick off and sometimes it fails and sometimes i fail to fix it because of some issues but then you at least learn from that and next time because you know you nobody is there and you have to take a decision at, at that time so it's everything on you you cannot rely on it good to see you working on all these things so is there any trends that you are observing in data science uh, faviana and any kind of areas or where there are possibly more jobs in the future uh i what i have seen is i think uh before it was i think six one year back it was more hype for the data scientist positions uh is like where as an ml ops when starting when i've joined uh being from the odin school i wanted to get a data science position every time because it was like a big name and is something we are designing models and all that stuff but i think so now it is mostly hyped up for the uh, ml engineers more uh why for my company why because what i have seen is uh, the data robot is uh, my company the data robot does the models for you uh yeah data processing like data cleaning it is our job we have to do it uh, we have to see the data but the rest of the part like how are you going to transfer the scores what are you going to do after that so my company is mostly like ml ops is what i've heard um, mostly are diving into machine learning engineers more uh, mostly uh, i think so nlp uh, and deep learning sections are getting a little bit more hype up people are trying more advanced in that in my company we are just doing basic um, ml models why because that's more than enough for us uh, to get in the scores we are getting good accuracy as well so we did not go for any advanced nlp or deep learning but i feel uh, mostly people are going for nlp and for deep learning models nowadays okay okay well uh, sure wonderful that's really good so faviana again we are super proud of you and we want you to continue doing very well and you know thank you and you know again uh, very very happy and quite proud of you and to share the fact that you're getting the first outstanding award outstanding alumni award So excellent, Shruti. Would you like to share any words with Faviana? No, I think great uh, insights, Faviana. Again, um, congratulations to you. Thank um, you. Thank you so much. It's been really nice uh, seeing your growth, and I'm sure a lot, lot more uh, growth cycles to come in the future also. Yeah. Thank you so much. So thank wonderful. you so much. So that's yeah. all we have, and we want you to keep in touch with Faviana with us. and we want to kind of be part of your growth in every way possible okay yeah, yeah. Then, i would thank you guys from like very yeah. starting for helping us uh, helping me come through here at the i don't think so like if i would have not joined i would have been here by now but like yeah, through all the journey and like, supporting and also I, i i really thank you for that 